Hungary joined Germany's invasion of the USSR on the 27th of June 1941. It had allied itself with the Axis powers in November 1940. Was it inevitable that Hungary would join Germany's crusade to the east? More on that in this video. Keep watching. Hey, good to have you back on the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and also hit that notification bell. Hungary joined the Tripartite Pact on November 20th, 1940. Looking back at the French-backed Little Entente set up in the early 1920s, Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia was now the only country that was still fully intact. Czechoslovakia was dismembered. Romania lost a large chunk of Transylvania and had joined the Axis. Yugoslavia was still there. Near the end of 1940, the Yugoslav-Hungarian Treaty of Internal Friendship was signed in Belgrade. It would spare neither one of them. Hitler wanted to invade Yugoslavia and he asked Hungary to join. Well, so much for the eternal friendship part. If Hungary would join the invasion of Yugoslavia, it would lose the goodwill of the West. But if it refused to take part in the invasion of the country, it would come at odds with the Axis powers. A grave dilemma and on April 3rd, 1941, Prime Minister Paul Teleki shot himself. As the Germans invaded Yugoslavia, the Yugoslav army was crumbling fast. The Hungarian troops now crossed the border and a few days after the German attack had begun, they captured some territories without meeting heavy resistance. Hungary regained Baxka, the Branja Triangle and Murakus. So far, Hungary's revisionist policies have been largely successful. Yeah, Britain broke off diplomatic relations with the country but did not declare war on Hungary. One reason for this could be Teleki's suicide. So yeah, Hungary had gained territory it had lost before and was not in war with any country, but that would soon change. After the Germans had captured and dismembered Yugoslavia, they focused themselves on the USSR. Now, its first plans for an invasion of the Soviet Union were drafted in December 1940 and were set for mid-May 1941. Now, this attack was postponed to June 1941. Germany first did not reckon with Hungary's participation. It had Finland and Romania that would join Hitler's crusade. Hungary therefore did not receive a substantive briefing. It was advised to reinforce its borders. Hitler was very well aware of the deficiencies of the Royal Hungarian Army and also Hitler feared that once Hungary participated in the invasion on the USSR, it would come with more territorial demands. In talks with German high-ranking officers, Hungarian commander Henrik Werth understood Hungarian participation in Barbarossa was an option. In his memoranda, Werth assumed that by staying out of the war, they would put their revisionist successes achieved heretofore at risk. But by joining, as well as with a pro-Axis policy, they would certainly recover the entire territory of historical Hungary. In addition to achieving revision, the general's arguments also included the regime's Christian national-based worldview, with which they would be at odds if we did not join the fight against Bolshevism. Henrik Werth's first memorandum dated May 6th. 1941 was rejected by Hungary's new prime minister, Laszlo Bardossi. Yet other politicians opted for an offensive alliance instead of a defensive one. Bardossi, he wasn't having it. A full mobilization would give rise to conjecture. Germany soon asked Hungary to prepare itself for any scenario. Just a few days before the Germans started with their invasion of the USSR, they informed Hungary about their plans. Hungary received a message from German general Alfred Jodl. Every Hungarian assistance will be accepted at any time. We do not wish to demand anything, but everything that is offered voluntarily will be gratefully accepted. There is no question of our not wanting participation by Hungary. Actually, the Soviets on their turn did reach out to Hungary. 
and they did this one day after the German invasion of the USSR had started. Soviet Minister of Foreign Affairs Molotov inquired about Hungary's position and stated that the USSR had no hostile demands towards Hungary and it had no problem with Hungary expanding its territory at Romania's expense. Hungarian leaders were convinced that the Germans would reach Moscow within six weeks and that if Hungary would join in now, its men would be home before the harvest. Hungary did break off diplomatic relations with the USSR and its ambassador left the Soviet Union via Turkey. The Casus Belli took place on the 26th of June 1941 with the Soviet strafing of an express train near Raho, now Rakhiv in Ukraine, close to the Soviet border and the bombing of Kasa, today's Kosice in Slovakia, where an unidentified aircraft conducted an airstrike on the city. In the afternoon, three Soviet fighter planes fired at the Hungarian locomotive, leaving one dead and a few wounded. The biggest mystery occurred at Kasa, where three unmarked planes dropped 29 bombs, leaving 32 deaths and dozens of wounded. Other sources claim more than 200 were killed. Cyrillic letters were seen under bomb fragments. So it could be Soviet planes, but this is weird. Why would the USSR bomb Kasa? Where perhaps it were the Germans or the Slovaks. Till this day, we have no definitive answer on who bombed Kasa on that day. There's a lot of speculation. So if you have any theories, leave them in the comments below. On that day, the prime minister stated, as a consequence of today's repeated unjustified and unprovoked attacks by Soviet air forces against Hungarian territory during this very day in contravention of international laws, Hungary regards itself as being in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Hungarian air force directed an attack against the Galician town of Stanislaw, today Ivano-Frankivsk in Ukraine, in the early morning of June 27th. Ground troops crossed the border at Volovets in the afternoon as firefights with Soviet border guards had already taken place in the morning. And so the Hungarian-Soviet war had begun. If you want to know more about Hungarian history, you can click right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Fison Latashra.